Hi then, it's Alexis at Daxkit Studios in Angel in Islington. And what I'm doing really is following up from an article that I wrote on principles that you can use to improve your brain function. Okay, I had uh, I wrote down eight principles that you can use. What I wanted to do is just create a video that you can watch, um, which just will hopefully simplify it for you. Okay, so um, it's like a little a little checklist that you could use up against any sort of new skill or challenge that you want to take on. Um, okay, so firstly, make sure you can measure your success. Okay, you need to be able to measure measure what you're doing. You need to see your progression. You need to see where you came from to where you are and to where you're going. Right, that's an important element of of taking something on. Right, um, any progression should equal success. So whether it whether you make a big leap forwards or you make it or it's only like a small step, any sort of progression is is success, and you need to treat it that way. Okay, and the way we treat it that way is every time you succeed, you celebrate by rewarding yourself. Okay, so if you succeed, even if it's just a small, it's like a small little success, you tell yourself and you give, your, give yourself that reward in your, in your head that you have taken a step forward. Okay, every time, you, every time you succeed and every time you reward yourself, your brain recognizes that. It therefore wants to succeed because it wants the reward. So make sure you reward yourself when you succeed. Okay, another thing that I had was work on challenging things. So you work, work, on, work on things that are going to improve you. They need to challenge you. Don't do something that you don't feel is a challenge or you don't feel is improving you in any way, shape or form. If it's not improving or it's not a challenge, then it's not going to improve your brain. Okay. All right, the next part is pay attention to what you're doing and specifically the details. If you're doing something and you're paying attention to the details and you're really being specific and you're being mindful about what you're doing, then you're more likely to improve and your brain is going to pay more attention to what you're doing. Okay, once you're, once you're doing that, also think about conscious improvement. So if you're trying to improve on a skill or trying to make yourself better at it, get yourself to, to be better, make conscious improvements. So really think about what you're doing um, and you know, that, that way you're going to improve um, much better. All right, and then the last point is do something that is challenging but that can't be mastered completely. Okay, so pick something that you're going to find difficult, and the 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 end the end goal is the end goal is not to to completely just to complete the skill, but it's just to constantly keep improving on it. All right, that that way you're going to have something that you can constantly keep doing, and it's constantly going to challenge you. All right, so that's it. There's just a few things that you can use. And you can measure, use a yardstick and put up against some of the new things that you might want to try or some sort of skill that you want to get into. All right, and I hope they're useful. And if they are, let me know. Thanks very much.